Today we'll be exploring how to adjust the appearance of clips in your timeline. Maybe you're eager to see the waveform of your audio, or perhaps you want a closer look at your video clips to get a better preview of what's happening at a specific moment. Well, you're in the right place. To open your clip appearance settings, just click on the film strip icon in the upper right corner of your timeline. The first slider you'll see is the zoom slider. This handy tool lets you zoom in and out of your timeline, giving you a closer or wider view. If you've zoomed in too far, no worries. Simply press Shift Z and your project will automatically zoom to fit, giving you a view of the entire project. It's as easy as pie. Beneath the zoom slider, you'll find the clip appearance buttons. The middle one is currently selected, offering an equal sized view of both audio and video film strips. Our video clips will display a film strip of the video content, while audio clips will showcase their waveforms. When you have a video with audio, it will show both the film strip and waveform. Clicking the first button will show only audio waveforms, making them much larger and hiding the video previews. The second button gives you a large view of audio waveforms while bringing back small video film strips. The middle button provides a balanced view, displaying both video and audio clips at equal sizes. The fourth button gives you large video clips and small audio waveforms. The next button hides audio waveforms and maximizes video film strip size. Finally, the last button hides both the video film strips and waveforms, leaving just the clip names. Want to switch views quickly? Use the keyboard shortcuts. Press Option Control Up Arrow to increase waveform size and Option Control Down Arrow to decrease it. Next, there's a slider that lets you adjust the height of all clips together. Drag it to the right to make them taller, or left to make them shorter. If you prefer keyboard shortcuts, press Command Shift Plus to increase clip height, or Command Shift Underscore to decrease it. You can also drag the center divider to adjust the height of your timeline for better visibility. But before we move on, could you do me a favor and give me a thumbs up? It helps me know if I'm doing a great job teaching and helps others discover this video. Thanks a bunch. Now, why do these views matter? Well, you might want larger waveforms when you're focusing on audio editing. For instance, making audio waveforms larger allows you to spot silent parts more easily. Then, using the Range Selection Tool keyboard shortcut R, you can click and drag over the silent parts and press Delete to make quick cuts. On the other hand, larger video clips give you more detail for precise frame-by-frame -frame editing. Editing preferences vary, so find the view that suits your project best. Whether you prefer big or small clips in your timeline, you're now equipped with the knowledge to navigate Final Cut Pro with confidence. Now it's time to dive into the fascinating world of resizing, moving, and rotating your videos and pictures in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out. 